FPRO 23. Alright, welcome back. So, we're going to have a look at this uh, photo uh, map over here. So it's a fairly uh, small photo map, um, but it is actually quite detailed. So the focus in the background, or, or like the depth of the photo, I suppose, is going to be this uh, unique prop. Um, and the area where you get your photograph done is going to be over here. Now you don't want to really be hitting any of these because they're full light, uh, full lighting, and that's going to be the big trick: is trying to not hit hit any of the lighting, which I feel that I would do. Okay, something like that. pull the photo out so you'll see immediately the lighting all around here really well done it's a shame about the tile marks but uh, there's the backdrop on it as well it's really well put together in that sense so what we're going to do is see what type of angle we can take the lighting uh, on fiddling I think normal was probably the natural was the one that was the best uh, I came across but you know a bit of fiddling I'm sure you'll find your own unique uh, thing there's also more manual fiddling involved there again as I always point out uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can do so obviously we've got the 62 Lincoln out uh, let's see so you can put the car on an angle but uh, don't want to risk damaging the lighting that's all something like that we're going to just run with that it's a basic photo but it will serve a purpose could be the thumbnail for this video all right so that's one location obviously you can go further further to the closer to it or further away uh, just depends what you want in the photo now there are some other areas that you can sort of get around to get a photograph as well. Just so I haven't actually tried just taking a photograph away from it, seeing what that looks like. Can you get a unique shot there? You can sort of can actually. Anyway, I'm digressing. The shot that I was thinking of is something more like over here. What does something like that look like? And it's probably going to be similar because it's really just the reverse of what I've just done. But, you know, you could pull something like that. Brighten it up a bit. There we go. So there's a few options on this map that you can look at. Now the big issue I suppose or the big problem that you may have on this map is it is very fragile. It is purely made up of these lights essentially. So if you hit them then you've got to hit the rewind button and then it will put them all back in place. So it is easily fixable, but it can be, really, you just don't want to be barreling in there, for instance, if that makes sense. Perfect, so, it looks like we lost the light there by the looks. That would be the map there anyway. Uh, like I said, it's a very small one. Uh, check it out though, because it definitely does have some possibilities. Oh, there we go again. Well, and uh, to finish the map, we just head over to the finish marker over here. And done. So yeah, just like I say, it's a little map I came across when uh, uh, going through Facebook. But I thought it was worth just to mention just you know, it's unique in a, a unique design and take on a photo map with that unique backing 
um, art uh, abstract shapes. So, excellent. Thank you for watching, as always. Uh, do check out the videos on the screen or head to my channel if you want some more Forza stuff. I've always got plenty of videos over there.